Welcome back, everyone, to HalloweenHaunts365.com, the podcast. I'm Jared. I'm here with Terry. Hi. Well, we got some international haunts to cover today. I was lucky enough to go to Vegas for work. And traveling for work sometimes gets tough because it's always during the week and I can never find a haunt. Well, I found one. And it was... A lot more than I was expecting when we saw it. In Vegas, they are called Freakling Brothers, and they run Freakling Brothers Horror Shows. They reached out to me, we had a nice conversation, and they brought me out on a Tuesday night. Looking in from the outside is just like, uh, this is this going to be a waste of time. Uh, I was fucking wrong. Yeah, that, that's what happens when you judge a book by its cover. Freakling Brothers is made of three attractions. Uh, Castle Vampire, Coven of Thirteen, and <laughs> whew, Gates of Hell. It's just the memories coming through. We're going to cover a lot of that. I'm going to give away a little more than I normally do because I have not told my wife about it yet. No, you haven't. I told her I would wait for the podcast because that would be more entertaining. So, so first you went to Castle Vampire. Yes, the How first attraction, after signing the waiver, I went to the Castle Vampire. And I waited in line. They were gracious enough with the VIP passes. Thank you. Because I'm on Eastern Time. It was 7 o'clock that time, which is three hours. But I was dead tired because I try to keep Eastern Standard Time even when I'm on the West Coast because it just makes coming back home easier and there's mm -hmm. early flights easier. And then, you know, I can actually get up to move the kids around during the weekend. So I think I got up at 4 a.m. that day and I waited to hop into these attractions. But uh, I met a nice young lady. She was the uh, will call. I gave her a couple of our cards so we can, you know, talk and maybe talk to the Franklin brothers because I definitely want to talk to a couple of the actors. All, all three of the entrance actors were phenomenal, especially the Gates of Hell chick. She had me dying. But moving on, Castle Vampire. Did you go in by yourself or was there a group? No, that one I was with three other people. Okay. I was with three other people. Not bad. Or, well, no, it was more, but we were actually ended up separated. Okay. Was, they were bugging out. I was fine until <laughs> certain things happened. All right. So Castle Vampire, as I'm walking through, I'm expecting exactly what I thought on the outside. A whole lot of nothing. There's going to be a couple of things here, a couple of things there, some lighting. Boo. No. Was it closed in? Because you know how, like, Jersey and PA... Oh, there was a roof. Have, there was a roof. There was a roof. These were trailers. Oh. If you look at the website, you can see the picture. I think it's two or three trailers mounted together. It's definitely specially designed, and they're designed to travel. And but, it's only open during Halloween. It's not something that's open year-round. Yeah, it's, it's only Halloween. And they were closed last year. I was reading on the website. Gotcha. The Castle Vampire... You're walking through, you're greeted by a cool actress who just stares at you until she's ready to tell you what to do. You know, no running, no hitting, don't touch us, we don't touch you. It goes for two of the attractions, but we'll continue on to <laughs> Castle Vampire. Good Lord. I, and she actually fell asleep before I got back to the hotel because I was wired. I was like, woo! <laughs> But this one's out cold. I'm like, all right, well, I got to calm down and go to bed. Castle Vampire, you're walking through, and you see, like, a fake lantern. Like, a really bad fake lantern on the gray wall. I'm like, what? why did I stay up? So you're walking. A couple of good scares. Got the group we were with. But um, you end up trapped. You're like, where are you? How do I get out of here? I usually know how to get out of these things. So I'm pushing on walls, pushing on walls, nothing's moving. All of a sudden, I hit my head. I hit, how did I hit my head? The ceiling's coming down. Oh, my God. With giant styrofoam rocks on it. I'm like, I had to hit the ground. 
I was on my knees. And then when the ceiling raised back up, it showed you the way out. I've never seen tricks like that before. You could not find your way out until that ceiling lifted. It was insane. That's crazy. I mean, the, good, good God. I, the, and then it continued to get more extreme and more extreme as you walk through. Um, it was a great job. The actors did fantastic. A couple good scares. I was with a mother and daughter. I think daughter was probably teenage, if not college. But, uh, yeah, they were jumping and the 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 one scene they um they they used kind of like a mirror effect but it wasn't a mirror you would look down a hallway and you could tell it was an actor dressed as this uh this fratu the the old Mm -hmm. dracula movie yeah and then when you look left you saw a stationary one you're like why do you have two things well that one's coming for you on a chain flying at you because you're not paying it any mind because it's not moving so you're walking through there you hear screaming from behind you and it's flying at you at probably a good 25 miles an hour oh my god it was moving that's all the secrets i'm going to give up to castle vampire It, it was a great attraction but it was definitely the weakest of the night because things picked up and they picked up rather quickly. How was, um, how would you rate the actors? Actors, I gave five blood splats. Fear factor, I gave it a four. Like I said, there was a lot of downtime. Originality of five. Uh, that, that ceiling coming down, I haven't seen in a haunt yet. Um, did, pra- it, huh? did it have, um, like a lot of props, like ones you've never seen before? Not that I haven't seen, but they were well done. Mm. Um, I think it could have used a couple more. Like there was a really cool casket scene, like an old school casket scene, like wood caskets, like like Dracula. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was definitely towards the Nosferatu theme. So like it was a lot of older stuff. Gotcha. I would just like to see more. Maybe some, you know, upside down. There was a lot of upside down cross. I, I don't know what I'm looking for, but it just felt like I needed some more on the empty walls. So for props, I went four. On how about scenes? <coughs> Excuse me, scenes. Scenes. I went five. I, I really liked a lot of the turns. They will hold you back from your group to make you a little more uneasy to let some of your group through. Um, there is a cool one where he tells you to jump and it's a rope you're looking at and down there it looks like it's open ground on the plexiglass oh. so <laughs> the girl actually grabbed a rope and jumped <laughs> so I went walking by she was like oh I didn't know that was there I'm like they're not going to make you jump <laughs> her mom was dying she was hilarious they were a good group though but uh, overall I want a four. It's really like a 4.9, but really just some more, a little more scares and a little more props. And it's a five-star attraction. The actors were fantastic. They, they really held their own. It was a, it was a, it was a fun attraction. Moving on. And I did these rather quickly because I was tired and I had a probably a 40 minute drive back to my hotel. But, I mean, this was located right in an Ikea parking lot. It was great. And across the street, I don't know if they own that, but there was a giant, like, kid fest. Like, uh, 15 giant inflatable bouncy houses. I think it was, like, a pumpkin farm or something going on right there. But, like, they say the Ikea parking lot. It's actually off the Ikea parking lot. So, I mean, it's easy to tell where it is because there's a giant Ikea so everything from there, I don't know why I'm like hiccuping while I'm talking. <laughs> That's all right, though. All right. So second, what did you go into? Second. Second, we went into Coven of 13. I'm not a big witch guy, even though it was probably my favorite season on American Horror Story. 
because all the actresses were great in that. But uh, Coven of 13 was you're being recruited to join this Coven of 13. Right off the bat, and I hate spoiling this, and don't worry, guys, I don't think I have that many viewers in Vegas, but uh, when have you go missing? Nah. -uh. Right away. You're told to come in. Sit down. Pick? No. It, it's, it's, I think it's whoever sits in a certain chair. I haven't really even come up with how they do this. But everyone has to sit in the chair. And she tells you to sit back and hold on. So I'm expecting uh, with some haunt effects, like right. shaking. Like, and, a, like yeah, Brighton had like a Brighton. few years ago. So I'm thinking something like that. Well, the whole room goes black for a good full second. Not any longer. Then the lights come back on. One of our group was missing. It was these two kids' dad. He was gone. Oh, the shit. seat was gone. So then a door opens. And you have to walk through the door. And she goes, you'll find what you're looking for with the white door and the two handles. So we walk in and there's a white door that opens, but it only had one handle. So over there was a door with two handles. We open that and there's their dad. So what if we didn't open those two doors? Like, what if we just kept walking? walking. He would have just been like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> but great effect right off the bat. If you're, the kids were pretty tough. So they, they just laughed when they saw their dad gone. But if you do that to like younger group, they're going to lose their shit. shit. <laughs> if I was just gone. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great effect and really set the tone the scenes were a lot better in here the props were fantastic the actors were great there's another you gotta kneel through the fireplace oh. this one hurt too this one was you didn't have to go over dead bodies did you? no but you couldn't see anything oh. you had no idea where you were going but uh yeah there's a lot of oh, there's more obstacles than that one Make sure you can get slim real quick. You're locked in. Is this on there? Huh? Coven 13 too? This is Coven 13. This is completely different gag. Certain part, you're locked in. You can't find a way. Familiar. The wall from your left side starts caving in on you. No way. Oh, yeah. And I'm a big dude. So, um, yeah, that was tight. <laughs> a little so tight that I couldn't get out. I had to kind of rock the end to kind of move through, my fat ass. Was everybody in that one room? Yeah, we all got shut in. And here's the beautiful thing. To make it even worse, <laughs> to make it even worse, I start hearing it. Ow! Ow! There's a shock panel. Actually, there's more of a shock panel. There's a whole line of electric wire hitting you as... Oh. Yeah, so you get shocked at the same time. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, ow! And, like, it's not painful, but it's... It does. It scares the shit out of you. When we were in blackout, I touched the wall at Reapers, and I got shocked. I was like, ow! That fucking hurt. It didn't hurt. It just... It gives you the weird. effect of being hurt. Because yes. you don't expect it. Well, this was... I, I saw... I got a crack of light out. And there's a whole brass wire across the entire wall. So you're all getting shocked. All right. Unless so you, you're no way you unless you're it. 70 pounds and can fit between without touching, you're, you're touching. So once that wall is done shutting, the trap door will open. You can continue. Well, ow, 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 because I can't fit between the two. And then at the end, I couldn't get it. So I had to move the wall. <laughs> I made it. I'm not that fat yet. Oh, good Lord. So... That, those are the two of the really big gags of Coven 13. Like I said, these are things I haven't seen yet. And I could see closing in walls happening in just about any haunt. Just because, really, it's, it can't be that hard to do. But I think some will leave out the electric wire. Wasn't expecting that. No. And the kettle that the guy stands in front of. I'm not giving anything away because it's all over their Instagram. It looks like a real kettle. I'd love to know how they did that effect. It looks like just like... Like stirring, like the witches stirring yeah, like, kettle. Yeah, but it, it's bubbling over with the fog, and oh, then there's like okay. lights to gotcha. make it look green. It was, it was fantastic looking. They, they really did a good job. 
Awesome. This this haunt got five blood splats across the board for me. This was a five blood splat attraction. So overall, it's five. Actors, fear factor, originality. Like I said, props were fantastic. Um, scenes were great. And they, they also will hold you up and give you the overall. So I give it a five blood splat. It was, it was a great haunted attraction. That's awesome. Maybe next year I'll get to go. Yeah, you're not going in this next one. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I finally went to an extreme attraction without knowing it. I had no idea Gates of Hell was an extreme attraction. Does it say it on the website? It probably does, but I didn't fully read the website. <laughs> I, Googled, I, I Googled haunts in Vegas, talked to those guys. They were really cool when I went. I don't have time to research. It's a haunt. I'm going. Gates of Hell was very hard for me to score because it is not a haunted attraction. It is, but it isn't. I mean, it's not stupid McKinney Manor, that's for sure. There's definitely a show. So it is a haunted attraction, but it's on the extreme side. How long did, would you say it took you to get through that? I went through that rather quickly. <laughs> I don't get freaked out in haunts, but my ass was moving in there. <laughs> Unfortunately, you hit a lot of dead ends. But I was moving, moving. I've never felt uncomfortable in a haunt. Pitch Black at Reapers was the closest I've come to feeling uneasy, but I still took my time walking through there, and I was completely fine. Here, I, I bet you've never seen uh, a fat dude do a 4-3 through an attraction, because that's what happened. When you go through it again. That depends. If I have other people that are going to put on a hell of a show with me, yes. Would I go through there again alone? No. No, I'm good. I've saw it. I'm done. I'm going to give away a lot in this just because without seeing it, you truly don't feel it. So I'm going to go through three or four of the scenes to really give the idea of Gates of Hell. Well. They had me sign another waiver. At that point, I was like, why? There's no way this is that bad. Oh, it's that fucking bad. Um, you're greeted by a nurse with an upside-down cross on her head. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I need my iced coffee for this one. And she pulls you in close, and she says, listen. This is an R-rated attraction. You will be cursed at. You will be touched. You cannot disagree with the actors. You can just go with the flow. If you push back in any way, you will be ejected. You can use our word purgatory as a safe word. And she goes, do you know what purgatory is other than those homos up there? I'm like, wow, all right. Did you use it at all? No. no I wasn't using nothing. So, so then she asked me what purgatory was. I go, yeah, well, isn't it something like heaven and hell or something like that? And she's like, no, it's the word pussies used. Get your ass in the fucking haunt. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I went in. You're placed in a box by a very large man. And this box fit me. I didn't have to squeeze in. So I'm going to say it was probably, I don't know, two by two, three by three. But you're trapped there for at least a minute and it feels longer because there's music blasting in your ass loud oh like pitch God. black loud was so that like a head banger music no it was like like a creepy hell music like devil worship music type deal okay. so after that you walk through a couple scenes one's a church where they're yelling at you that you're a piece of shit and all that Whatever. Uh, you know, nothing new for me. So I keep walking through. And then you end up in a bathroom. 
can't get out. Only way out is back, but I'm pretty sure that gets shut and shut down. So you're pushing on the stalls to get out. There's a dude standing at the urinal in front of you. I don't know if I've told you this yet, because I told yes, you a little bit. you did tell me. Okay. That's the only thing you told me about. So, yeah. So, he goes, what are you looking at? I go, um, nothing. Oh, yeah, nothing? Does this look like nothing? And he pulls around with a very large dildo, pisses all over you. So, now I'm soaked. I'm like, great. This, this day's getting better. And then he throws you through the porta potty, which is now unlocked, so it didn't hurt that bad. So you're pushed in. Walk through a couple more scenes. I'm not going to give everything away. There was a cool scene. That actress was great. She really pushed you around. There was a hard drop in a blinding light scene, which was kind of like war. You know, war is mm-hmm. all. That was all right. I mean, they that's the scare cam at the end. They show you is that drop. And I'm just sitting there like. I guess that's what all my pictures look like at home. So I probably look like that guy on TikTok that looks bored to amusement parks. Like, <laughs> but <sighs> then came what I call the Vegas scene. <laughs> oh, that's after the chain link fence. The chain link fence is it kind of like where I guess Reapers, where you have the oh, yeah, it's just no, (laughs) no, nope. There's a little maze you have to go through in between chain link fence, like the one last night. No, no, okay, because the difference is this had chains hanging off the ceiling, these chains were electrified. Yeah. So you had to walk through that. You were getting hit in the face. Oh, arm, face, leg, zap, zap. And there was no way around it. You had to go through it. He was yelling at you. And if you hesitated, he pushed you through it. You were getting zapped. So there was four of those chain sets that you got to go through. Four. Four! Two wasn't cool. Oh, my gosh. So luckily you stopped feeling it after a while. Then you're done. You go through a couple other scenes that you're just expecting some shit to happen to you that don't happen. At this point, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm like, all right, come on. Let's go. I don't care about the scenes because this isn't that type of haunt. So, but the scenes were still good. They still had some some dressing. The actors to bring the energy, they do. Person after person after person. Well, I'm sorry. Other people had groups. I was throwing my fat ass in alone. I went all through this by myself. Because someone had to go to work and not come to Vegas with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. But honestly, I don't think you were coming out of there. I, I, I probably would have left through an emergency door. <laughs> I, I think you would have used the word. I really do. Like if blackout or pitch black does what it does to you. This uh, it became tough to deal with after a while, but after that, the final scene there's a heavily breasted woman at the end of a pole. So, you're like, oh, all right, cool. Walking down towards her, and you have to walk towards her because the exit's that way. The wall on your left's electrified, but you don't know that until you go out. Oh, damn it! So, you're standing there, she's talking to you. And she starts touching you. And you're like, oh, huh? It's Vegas. On her finger is electrified. She's shocking the shit out of you as she touches you. Like she went from here to about waist. Pop, 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 pop. And then she went back up. Like, goddamn. So then she's like, you're going to get on your knees and worship Satan on your way out. Thank God there was nothing left. There was a green tunnel, and then you made your way out. That shit was intense. Mm-mm. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't want to. I would do the two attractions. I was very proud of myself. I am, too. You did it all by yourself. I did. Other people are going in with four or five people. She brings me. 
I'm like, oh, yeah. See, this gets you into trouble sometimes, too. Yeah, it does. Uh, they go they like to go a little extra. They do. Which is normally fine, but that dude threw me into that box. Like I could throw my nine-year-old son into a box. That man was strong because I am not a light human. <laughs> I am not a weak human. He put my ass in a box. <laughs> put my ass in a box. But this scoring's weird. It, it's not gonna hit. It's not going to hit a five just because the scenes were a little weaker, but it's not designed for the scenes. This isn't your walkthrough to look at the pretty Hollywood thing. This is to punish you and to really get in your face. And I really liked it. (laughs) I'm retarded, but not to use that word, but I'm dumb. I, I enjoyed it. Like it, like maybe because it was so different, right? And that I haven't experienced anything like that, and that I actually made it through, that I really, really liked it. And not knowing what you were walking. Oh yeah, this was a brand new attraction for me, but this would be my limit. I wouldn't want to go any further than this because it would just take out the fun. The actors were really good. Um, it wasn't kind. It wasn't the kind where you could just laugh at the actor at the hayride or you know, the Dropbox panel or ah, oh, you got me. This wasn't that type. The actors stayed in character, and they they were hands down. They were highly trained. They knew how to touch you. They knew how to mess with you. They knew how to get what they wanted out of you. To me, that's a great show. And there were some younger kids going through this. I don't think you could go in if you're under 18. I hope you can't go in unless you're under 18. My kids would come out paralyzed and shocked. And I don't, like I said, I'd I'd give you a 50 50 chance of making it out of there. I probably would be able to do it, like if you were there or there was a group of us. I couldn't do it by myself. I would have sat in the corner crying. Oh, there's ways to get separated in there. I noticed. So I don't think even if he went with me, you would be next to me. Because right in the front, you're in your own room. We don't know when they get released. Mm-hmm. They might be individual walls that get released at different times. Gotcha. I just know I didn't run into a whole other group. For me, actors, if I could give you a 10, I'd give you a 10. To keep that intensity up all night. Uh, fear factor, <laughs> a five. Um, originality, wow, a five. Props, I got electrocuted by a stripper. I mean, <laughs> she was awesome, though. The makeup was fantastic. She had an eye hanging out and other things hanging out, but we won't get into that. Um, seems like I had to give a four. There's not a lot going on in these rooms, but there doesn't need to be. So, like, I usually will not give an attraction a five overall if there's a four, but those actors hit a home run. So this, this to me, was a five. Hands down, one of the craziest attractions I've been into. But it's not for everyone. I mean, I think you need to actually come up the way I've come up through horror and all these attractions my entire life to really make it through. Could you see Stacy do that? Stacy would have died when the box came. Now, this is not for the weak. This is not for the fake strong. You you got to have a good head on your shoulders and know that it's just a show. And I've been through thousands of attractions Mm -hmm. to know it's just a show. Because it starts to not feel like a show. And you have to keep telling yourself. You got to restrain. You got to let the actors do what they're going to do. Because the, I, I guarantee you these actors have been punched before. There, there's no way around it. I guarantee it. But it, it really... <laughs> I was amped up after leaving that thing. There was, I think I went to bed at like 1 a.m. <laughs> I was just... I couldn't go to sleep. It was just... Is that crazy? There's also a nice food place there. 
you get your picture taken during the drop at the gates of hell. There's a lot of stuff to do there. Um, once you leave the park, you're done for the night. And I'm pretty sure you can keep going in these attractions. It said on the website, go as many times as you want. So really, I could have went through Gates of Hell again. No. Wasn't doing that. I was also very tired. But I want to say huge thank you to Franklin. Uh, Franklin. Yeah, Franklin. The Freakling Brothers and their horror show. It was out of this world. Um, thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. I left my card there for you guys, so have any of them reach out. I'd love to talk to all of them. Really nice people. Um, great show. Uh, the two attractions, I'd say anyone can go. Have a great time. The third attraction, if you're up for it, it's worth it. Do they sell their tickets by attraction, or do you have to do all three? You know, I don't know. Hmm. I went to Will Call. I forgot to look at that. I'm, oh. just, I'm sure they probably do it as... I think it's a group. I think it's 50 bucks for all three. That's what I kept hearing in the line. Okay. Because people would drive up, hey, how much is this? I'm like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Asking the wrong guy. But uh, I think it was 50 bucks for all three. And then there's a fast pass, which the weekend, weekday, I don't think you really need. The lines really weren't that long, but I was talking to the guy in front of uh, Castle Vampire, and he told me that most lines get two or three hours long for general admission during the weekend. Wow. So, I mean, it's normal home stuff. Yeah, that's normal stuff. So, get the get the VIP. It's worth it. You'll be in and out of there, or you can do it a couple times. I mean, it looked like I, I, I rather enjoyed myself. It was uh, a lot of great attractions. Overall, the, like I said on the website, it's a four only because a couple of the scenes didn't hit right. But if it's a four, it's a 4.9999999999. Who cares? Just go. I mean, really, this is all me trying to mathematically assimilate a haunt. And especially a haunt that has an attraction that I've never been through before and came out of there going, wow, how the fuck am I going to score that? <laughs> Most of the time, I have a pretty good idea. When I leave there, I'm just like, I'm looking at my phone. I don't know what to do. <laughs> She's sleeping. I'm like, uh, we'll work on it later. But that was Freakling Brothers in Las Vegas, Nevada. I also had a couple other stops. We're going to do those after haunt season. I got to stop by Tom Devlin's Monster Museum, which was really cool. The pictures were awesome. Yep. They'll be on the website soon after haunt season, after our word show, which we're gearing up for. Uh, keep an ear out. Make sure you subscribe to all our social media. I just made the, uh, you know, the Instagram post today that make sure you guys are ready to vote for your favorite haunt of the attraction. Uh, I don't care if you're an actor, owner, employee, some guy on the internet. Pick a favorite haunted attraction, and we'll see who wins. That's coming up. Our votes are winding down. We've got a couple more to collect and figure out what we're going to do with those. But the season's winding down. As we're recording this, it is October 23rd. So, really, we have, we got one tomorrow night. But after that, we might be done. We pretty much hit them all. Yeah, we went to a lot this year. I we there might be a chance we squeeze one in the first. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, Halloween and everything with kids, it gets a little tight. Plus, it's the best time to check out the home haunts because a lot of them are only open on Halloween. So we'll see what happens. We also got John out there. I'm cracking the whip on him. <laughs> He's holding on to two. Put it out. Send me the email. All right, now I'm done yelling at our employees. I'm going to wrap up Freakly Brothers Horror Shows. Their website's even really cool. The artwork's fantastic. I had to steal their logo for the post, but it's a really cool logo. But that's all I have for you today. Like I said, 4.9, just over stupid little things, but really, it's a must-see in Vegas. If you're in Vegas, you got to go.
if we're in Vegas during a hot one season, which is very doubtful, but <laughs> if we're there, we'll, we'll go back and we'll see if you could. Might have to call it. I have to call EMT or something. <laughs> but uh, that's all I have for you today at Halloween Haunts 365.com, the podcast where every day is haunt season. Goodbye. Bye.